We all know Silvio Dante. He's the owner of the Bada Bing Strip Club and the longtime friend and consigliere to Tony Soprano. He's one of the most recognizable parts of The Sopranos, and his imitation of Michael Corleone in Godfather 3 is more iconic than the original movie itself. Just when they thought I was out, they pull me back in. <laughs> However, there is an ongoing question in the Sopranos community about Silvio. How old is he? When I was writing my video about rewatching The Many Saints of Newark, I had a section where I talked about the inconsistencies of Silvio's age. I remembered that when I first watched the film, I noticed that the movie got Silvio's age wrong, portraying him as much older than Tony when they're supposed to be contemporaries. However, as I started researching, I realized that the issue was much more complicated than I first thought, and I decided to break this off into its own video. Now, I know I'm not the first person to cover this issue, and people have been discussing it for a long time, but I still figured it would be interesting to give my own spin on the issue, as I think it highlights how ideas can spread within a community and become the truth, even when there's evidence against it. So, in this video, we'll be examining the discrepancy over Silvio's age in the Sopranos community. What's with the fucking accounting out there? After doing a bit of research on the Sopranos subreddit and in YouTube comments, I've come to the conclusion that most fans think that Silvio is around the same age as Tony. I think this is primarily due to the fact that Ralph says they were all in a crew together when they were younger. When we was kids, we had our own little crew. Me, your dad, born on him, Tony, Silvio, Dante. I also just assumed that they were the same age because of this fact. But upon further examination, this might not mean that they were the same age. For one thing, it's possible that Ralph is not entirely telling the truth in this situation. He might be putting on a show for Jackie Jr., exaggerating his relationship with Tony and Jackie Sr. After all, Silvio himself states that he was not a part of Tony and Jackie's robbery of Feech Lamana's card game. Tell all the time uh, Tony and Jackie Aprile knocked over your card game. Oh, that he has like to talk about. But even if we accept that they were all in a crew together, it doesn't necessarily mean that they were the same age. After all, Paulie was a subordinate member of Tony's crew, even though he is much older than him. Big Pussy as well, despite being described as Tony's best friend, is stated to have been older than him. There is actually a lot of evidence to suggest that Silvio is older than Tony as well. One is the fact that actor Steven Van Zant is actually about 11 years older than James Gandolfini. Though of course, the actor's age and the character's age do not have to match up. After all, James was only about 5 years older than Christopher's actor Michael Imperioli in real life. But there are several lines of dialogue that suggest that Silvio is older. In season 4, Tony tells Christopher that Silvio is no spring chicken, meaning young. So a good consigliere, he's gonna continue on as such, but he's no fucking spring chicken either. This doesn't make sense for Tony to say if they were the same age. Later in the season, Tony also calls Silvio an old man. You know, you're getting to be a very strange man in your old age, you know that? What? In season 5, Silvio says that he's known Tony since he was a kid. I know you said you were a kid, Tony. Frankly, you got a problem with authority. Now, the fact that he didn't say, since we were kids, can be interpreted to mean that Silvio is older than Tony and watched him grow up. Also, in the pilot, Silvio doesn't know who Artie Bucco is, which would make sense if he's older. Tony and Artie are canonically schoolmates. Let me ask you something. Yeah, I used to go to school with a guy named Artie Bucco. All of this leads me to believe that Silvio is supposed to be older than Tony. It's just the way that some of the information was presented early on led people to think that they were the same age, and the idea just stuck within the community. However, there is another detail that does make it seem like they are the same age. In The Happy Wanderer, Tony talks about how he and Silvio used to peek into the game through the door because they weren't allowed inside. So you remember when me and you used to look through that crack in that painted door when my old man and Uncle Junior had it? Yeah, I remember. How Tony describes it, it comes off as very childish, implying that they're both very young. I mean, I find it hard to imagine a grown man doing this. 
This is a detail that I think got confused in the timeline. And it's interesting that both this episode, The Happy Wanderer, where this is mentioned, and Amor Fu, where Silvio is stated to have been part of Tony's crew, were both written by Frank Renzulli. It's possible that he misinterpreted Silvio's age and wrote in those contradictory details. But aside from this one reference, the majority of the evidence still stacks up in favor of Silvio being older than Tony. Even stuff like Pauly saying that he goes back into the family before Silvio doesn't contradict this idea, as Silvio might have joined after Pauly, but before Tony. Don't give me that smart alecky shit. Don't forget, I go back in his family to Johnny. Before you even. Now, I've heard some people say that Silvio's age is mentioned in the book, The Sopranos, A Family History. It's written by Alan Rucker, who would write other supplemental Sopranos material, like the cookbook, and even the story for Sopranos' Road to Respect. The book is officially licensed by David Chase and HBO, so it should be considered canon to the show, unless contradicted by other sources. However, I actually own multiple copies of this book, which were updated over the course of the show, and I've not been able to find any direct mention of Silvio's age. Maybe I'm just missing it, so if you know which page the reference is on, feel free to let me know in the comments. But even if the book did give Silvio's age, we would have to accept that the many saints retcon this detail, as it's not the only detail from the book that was changed. The book lists Silvio's father as Joseph Beppe Dante, which I think was just a lazy invention by the writer, as it's copying from the other Joseph Beppes we know from the show. Either way, though, the movie states that Silvio's father's name was Caligaro Butch Dante. I think I went to school with your father. Hello, Jero Dante. Butch. He said you were a bully. So, even if this book did give Silvio's age, we'd have to accept that the many saints overrides the canon of this information. Which brings me to a larger point. When David Chase was creating the series, Silvio wasn't a part of the original vision. He actually approached little Steven Van Zant for the role of Tony just because he was a fan of Springsteen and Steven's look. However, little Steven wasn't comfortable taking a role from a legitimate actor, so instead the character of Silvio Dante was created specifically for him. Little Steven actually came up with the character's name and background, based off a movie idea he had had. Given the character's unique origin, it's no wonder that some of the details like the character's age wouldn't be presented with 100% consistency. It's possible that one single writer made a mistake when writing Sylvia's backstory, and that one mistake ended up coloring the community's perception about the character. Again, there's no one definitive answer, but for what it's worth, I've come to believe that Silvio was indeed always meant to be older than Tony. The many saints certainly got many details from the show wrong, but this wasn't necessarily one of them. Timeline got fucked up. Again, I know it's a small little video, but I hope you guys enjoyed this, and stay tuned for more Sopranos content coming soon. Alright, I'm officially done talking about the many saints of Newark now. Matt Joyce, Uncle Mike, Sam Cedarland, Celery Man, Countess Von Zarevich, and Admiral. 